you think of any biological waste and it can go to the production of biogas that is why what dr soman said uh, 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 is true because if we use our waste uh, we can convert it to not only uh, a renewable source of energy but at the same time we can uh, actually reduce our forex burden uh, of course uh, as uh, has been mentioned there are technical challenges which each feedstock for biomethanation or anaerobic digestion uh, will require a unique set of uh, microbes to cope up with whatever there is in the waste uh, but then uh, this is uh, what we do actually uh, different uh, uh, i mean researchers from different uh, walks of uh, our fields uh, come together and find an optimal uh, another kind of challenge is uh, this uh, this related to the logistic logistic of uh, gathering this raw material and bring it bring it to the digester because once we start these digesters it's not possible that uh, some day will feed them and other they will not so then the entire bacteria population will die so the feeding to the digester has to be constant so uh, there should be a constant source of one, once you start a cbg project so you will uh, put big digester bio digesters okay so once this uh, organism will start producing uh, this biogas then they need constant feeding so that constant feeding means constant sourcing of the raw, raw material so so until and unless you first work out uh, ensure continuous and uh, supply of this uh, uh, this raw, raw material organic waste and they are required processing pre processing so until uh, until and unless you ensure that then uh, otherwise it will be problematic you see understand so first uh, uh, so this is basically logistical issue but when we have like so much waste why is this like issue coming in no i mean uh, there are like uh, municipal solid waste for example okay so if you are generating uh, biogas from municipal solid waste so the pr- problem is majority of uh, municipal solid waste are not properly segregated in india the organic contents are not segregated so you have to collect enough um, waste and then you have to uh, have this sorting and segregation facility okay so then and then you put it into the di- uh, digester so so uh, likewise there are challenge uh, for different feed stock there are different challenges but uh, it's not that they, they are not surmountable of course it's possible and uh, towards that uh, already many companies are now upcoming in india so uh, who are coming in a big way for producing cbg so there are challenges uh, if you rec- recognize that uh, the typical challenges for each uh, like in parali for example so parali has uh, challenge challenges of its pre processing okay it is a lignin based uh, by, uh, organic waste so if you do not manage this lignin content properly so ultimately what will happen is that they they will not you will not get what you are expe- what you, you uh, the uh, uh, the based on which you will design your biodiesel you will not you may not get that kind of yield okay typically uh, one ton of parali theoretically can generate 250 meter cube of uh, 250 to 300 meter cube of uh, raw biogas but if you do not process that parali pre process it pr- properly so you may not get that kind of yield and also there is a hazard of choking up the biogas by lignin okay. what happens uh, uh, this parali is what we uh, would call technically as lignocellulosic uh, biomass there is cellulose and there is lignin lignin is a like natural chemical which protects your uh, biomass it makes it hard the problem is that lignin is harder to digest by those uh, microbes so but at the microbe has to reach the uh, cellulosic part so the pre processing is required so that uh, it is either pre uh, cooked or uh, shredded to very small size so that the cellulosic part is reachable by the microbes so uh, these are the challenges i mean uh, other uh, biomass have uh, there are its own set of challenges like uh, uh, the biomass that uh, dr soven alreal mentioned press mud it is a by uh, product of sugar baking it has large amount of sulfur 
so when you convert it to biogas your biogas will have very large amount of hydrogen sulfide uh, which is in turn is uh, harmful to your process equipment pipelines everything so that, 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 that is uh, another challenge to mitigate so uh, but of course technological solutions <coughs> are available for all these challenges